I'm here at Manchester Picker. Oh no, wait, I made this joke last year. One year ago today, here at Abbey Wood, we arrived at ridiculously early in the morning. Mate, let's go to the court and trains. <laughs> we came out the front and then we walked down these stairs here and just saw a massive queue of people. My heart dropped in that moment. I knew we weren't making that first train here. We made a quick decision. Louis was with us. He came up with a great idea of getting a taxi back to Woolwich where we'd stayed the night before and jump on it there, which turned out to be a very good decision. One year later, and I'm finally gonna catch a train from Abbey Wood. Of course, things are very different now. This train is going to Heathrow. On that day, they were only going as far as Paddington. Much, much quieter today. This is where we came back to an hour after we started. We stayed, we'd stayed in Woolwich the night before, so we'd got the, the train out to Abbey Wood to, to start from there. The level of excitement on the day amongst everybody there was just so nice. We arrived here, you could kind of feel it in the air. It's kind of like nothing I've experienced in that context since then. And I've been to a fair few openings since then. And, and the reason I'm doing a year later video is because that day was just different, it hit differently. And we weren't even sure if we'd even be able to get onto the train. We were expecting it to be just completely rammed. But clearly when it was leaving Abbey Wood, they weren't actually letting it fill up. So there was space for us. And it still feels as new today as it did back then as well. This is exactly the point where we were waiting as well, for, for good measure. The platform was much, much more crowded then, though. This is the train to Reading. Next station, Custom House. This isn't a visiting every station, by the way. I just fancied getting out here yeah, because it's a nice day. It's a sunny day. This is what that day turned into. Walking down the train, seeing people just there, I don't know, loving their day. There was a massive feeling of community on that day of shared excitement about what was happening because this is, in my lifetime so far at least, one of the biggest infrastructure projects to open. The next big one to open is probably going to be HS2. I was still a, a fairly, I'm gonna call myself a new YouTuber at that point because yes, I'd been doing it for five years, but I hadn't been doing it like myself on camera. There were people saying hello and that was my first proper exposure to that. And yeah, that was definitely trial by fire for me. I remember walking down the train and, and the person who I now know as KD Hi. Hi. said hello. I had no idea at that stage that that was somebody who I'd been chatting to online for ages. Jubilee and DLR. Yep, I remember all of the interruptions that happened on that day. So we're going to ride this every single time. We're going to ride it all the way. You should hear me like when everyone. It's interesting. Very. What I like about this station. Oh, that's not... <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered because she would have interrupted me anyway. Anyway, going underground. Canary Wharf, what is easily my favourite station. I love how it feels, it feels bright, it feels airy. I love the little escalators and, and I love the outside of it.
I mean, look at it. It's such a statement, this station. I love Canary Wharf Station. I never did manage to get one of the special Oyster cards on the day. Next stop for me at least, Bond Street. Bond Street was of course not open when we came here the first time. It was a few months later when I came back and made another video on that day. That was, that was very much another day that was an experience. Should we go upstairs? I adore these core stations on the Elizabeth Line. They're cavernous, they feel impressive. I know there are some people out there that say all of these ones look exactly the same and yeah they are very similar but they just they feel impressive so on street opened several months later in october last year we didn't get to go through well we went through here on opening day but it was station closed um, but this was another experience. Uh, me and Stu coming down. It's busy full of people. I mean, that day wasn't quite the same. It didn't have the same magic as the original opening day. This station meant that the course section was complete and free running was set to start just a month later. One of the things that is most important to me when I'm making videos is the people. And I know I talk about this a lot, but it is really important. The people that we meet, the people that we form friendships with, the people, just the people are more important than the trains that we ride on, the stations that we visit. It's people that give us joy. It's people that put a smile on our face. It's people that made my day one year ago on opening day, on Bond Street day on free running day. I'm grateful to share this journey that I'm doing with the people that are following me and that is you guys. Ah, getting mushy and deep and deep and meaningful again. I guess the whole point of this video is I've come on a lot in the last year since opening day and the Elizabeth line was significant was a significant point in my YouTube journey and it was a learning curve. Anyway, I think there's a train coming. I'm going to Paddington. Paddington, this is where it all ended a year ago. This is where we ended last year. I hope I've come a long way in the year since that video was filmed. I have enjoyed the journey, literally, to get from here to here. I hope you stick around for what I've got to come. Happy birthday to the Elizabeth Line. Thank you to Lorna and Louis for joining me on that first train. Thank you to Lorna, Stu and Simon for joining me on the subsequent video that we all made together visiting every station. I had an amazing day and I hope that if you were there, you had an amazing day too. I'm going to leave a link here to the next video that I think you should watch. Until next time, have a good one.